So here you can see that I have an object on my viewport and if I want to work around and then delete out some vertices or edges or faces, then I can easily do so. So for that, I need to use the dissolve feature. So for that, you can see that I have an object. I'm just going to select this and go on to edit mode by pressing the tab key on my keyboard. So once I do that, you can see uh, the lines appear and I can go around over here and select out points right here. Let's say, for example, I want to uh, delete this point right here. So if I were to go around on my keyboard and press the X key, you can see that I have options. So I can go around and here you can see that I have uh, the dissolve option. So if I were to go around into dissolve vertices right here, you can see that the point is deleted out. And what happens is that the other faces are, uh, the, the face is turned into a single one right here. So there's vertices over here in the corner, but there is nothing right here. So I can go around and select this one, let's say for example, and press X on my keyboard. And then I can click on dissolve vertices right here. And this is what I have. I can also go around over here, click this, and I'm going to press X and I can click on dissolve vertices right here. So just like this, you can see that I can dissolve it out and the face becomes one. Then what I can do is I can go around over here onto the S right here, and then I can select the S and I can do the same with the S. I can press X on my keyboard and click on dissolve S. I can click over here as well and click on dissolve S, click over here, click on dissolve S as well. So then what I have is I can dissolve faces as well. So I'm going to go around over here onto face, click here, and then I'm going to press X on my keyboard and click on uh, dissolve face. But nothing happens at the moment. So I can select all of these around, press X on my keyboard and click on dissolve face. Then this is what I have. So I can go around right here, select out multiple face, and I'm going to press X and click on dissolve faces right over here. And just like this, what happens is that you got the S faces and vertices, and I can go around and dissolve it however I want. And that is how you can use the dissolve feature inside of Blender. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.